2019 Bowler Professional Update. So for 2019, we've updated mostly electronically the Bowler machine. So we have a whole load of new functionality, starting with an e-ink, e-paper display, which gives us a lot more options in terms of the information we can provide to the user. So we just turn it on. Um, default speed 45 miles an hour. Um, and we can see in the screen there, we've got run time. There's also a ball count in the corner. Um, variations and those are, I'll explain in a short while um, so from our function menu we have the original speed control which is press up for up down for down and we have bias here and you get a nice little arrow indicating which way the ball will swing on the bias um, and so let's go up to 60 miles an hour and then we have a functions menu so by pressing the function button, this gives us option uh, access to uh, more elements of functionality. So for instance, if we start the feeder functionality, that allows us to go select the feed interval time, and then the feeder bleeper on or off. The remote enabled or disabled, so we have different remote, um, and then back to its uh, original home screen. So if we go back to the menu options there, there is a variations menu, so we select that. So if we select the variations on, and then you select left or right-handed batsman because the variations are different for left and right-handers, then you can select the upper speed limit that the variation will operate within, the lower speed limit that the variation will op operate in, and then the amount of bias that you'll get in the variation setting. You can't use much bias because it affects the line, but a little bit of bias adjusts the swing and there's a little bit of variation of line and length with the speed. So back to there. Now we have a look at the main menu again. So scrolling down, kilometers or miles an hour. So we select that. So that's currently in miles an hour. Let's select kilometers. So 60 miles an hour, 96 kilometers an hour. And then it allows us for the Southern Hemisphere users to give them what they want. So if we go back to the menu again, we'll go back to miles an hour because that's what we like here. Just like that. Um, then back into the menu options, diagnostics. The only significant thing in the di diagnostics that's of interest at this point is the remote channel. So if you buy an automatic feeder, you'll need to allocate the remote channel to the feeder remote. So there are 10, 10, or ch 10 channel options. Each remote has the channel number on the back, and then you can select that. So we go back. Um, all of the other things are relatively superfluous. There's some diagnostic information, so we can pull up bits and pieces of information so there, like that. There's also a ball counter, which runs uh, a session, allows you to reset the ball counter. Um, so if you're having different players, you want to reset the ball counter, give them a certain number of balls, it works pretty well for that. Um, so that's the menu explanation. Uh, we have added some functionality to the remote control. So if you have a feeder connected, the remote will give you continuous feed, that's on and off there. Single shot, that just fires one ball. It also has a nudge function, so you can nudge the speed up and down using the remote buttons there. And that you can do that five miles an hour either side of the set speed. Um, nice little function if you're coaching away from the machine. It gives you the option to knock the length up and down with it with some minor changes of speed um, and so there's an option to buy more of these remotes so if you want more than one remote if every coach has to have one um, they'll be less than 20 pounds each so yeah, relatively affordable uh, the new feeder has a different connector so a new feeder won't fit an old machine and a new machine won't take an old feeder. So you have to buy, you know, sadly, you've got to buy both if you want one of the things to work. But uh, so a different connector there. It's a be much better XLR connector. We have used a not very reliable DIN connector in the past. So, so there's that. The new automatic feeder has a traffic light system that indicates the release of the ball. So 
if we do a single shot on the remote here, okay. you see the count down there, the white lights, red light then comes on at the end and the ball's delivered. So we can carry on doing that, single shot, count down, ball release. You can also do it continuous with the remote, so you switch a continuous sequence on and then that will keep operating, obviously until the feeder is empty, but it'll keep going then until you press the button again. You can also operate the feeder manually from the machine panel, just turning the continuous feed on and off. But in terms of the other elements of functionality, you only get those using the remote. Fundamentally, the new display has obviously given us the option to add in a whole load more functionality. The machine we hope will be significantly better than the one it's replacing and justify a little bit of a price increase which has come with it. But, uh, yeah, very happy with it. Hopefully the customers will be too.